the Built from the Ground Up Medium Format Digital SLR. In this video, I'll be going through some of the camera's physical features. On the front of the camera, you'll find the shutter release button and the lens release button. Notice to remove the lens, I don't have to take my hand off the camera, allowing for quick and easy lens changes while shooting. Next to the lens, you'll find the depth of field preview button. By default, this will stop the camera down to whatever aperture you have set. However, this button's function can be changed in the camera's custom function menu. On the top of the camera, you'll find the shutter speed dial with speeds ranging from 1 4 thousandth of a second all the way to bulb. Next, you'll find the color OLED screen, which gives you information like shutter speed, aperture, ISO, shots remaining, and battery life. Next to that, you'll find the hot shoe, allowing for a wide range of Leica and third-party accessories to be mounted. The bottom of the camera, you'll find the battery. To release the battery, simply flick the lever, give the battery a light press, remove the battery. To reinsert, simply slide in, the battery locks. Next to the battery release, you'll find both quarter inch and three eighths of an inch tripod sockets with anti-slip holes. Next to that, you'll find the connector for the Leica S2 multifunction vertical grip. On the back of the camera, you'll find a number of switches to control the camera's operation. First and foremost, the power switch has three positions, off, FPS, standing for focal plane shutter. This allows shutter speeds from 1 4,000th of a second to bulb to be used with a flash sync of 1 125th of a second. This is the most commonly used mode of the Leica S2. The next section, CS, central shutter. When using Leica central shutter lenses, you are now able to sync with your flash at 1 500th of a second. Next to the power switch, you'll find the large bright viewfinder and the easy to adjust diopter. Under your thumb, you'll find the rear button, which can be used both to lock exposure, focus, or even to activate the autofocus. Next to that, you'll find the multi-selector wheel. This wheel can be used both to change the camera shooting modes from program, manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, or to navigate the menu. It serves as both a navigator and a clickable button to confirm your menu selection. The camera's 3-inch 461,000 pixel LCD is surrounded by four soft function keys. These keys allow various menu options to be selected and controlled within the Leica S2. On the right side of the camera, you'll find the memory card door. Slide back to release the memory card door. You'll notice the Leica S2 accepts both compact flash and SD cards, allowing for a massive amount of storage to be inside the camera when shooting handheld. Lastly, the left side of the camera, you'll find four sealed connectors. The first two is your PC sync, your HDMI out for playing images on an HDTV. Next, you'll find two military-grade LIMO connectors, weather-sealed and lockable. The green connector, USB for both tethering and image transfer to a computer. The red connector allows the Leica remote release to be put into the camera for using the camera on a tripod or being able to step away while shooting. The LIMO connectors are designed as such. Easy to insert. Now don't try this at home. However, this will demonstrate the strength of these military-grade connectors. Thank you for watching this video demonstrating the Leica S2's physical features.